Today I'm testing a bunch of webcams that are each interesting in their own category. These two are futuristic webcams by Obsbot. They are partly sponsoring this video. What I'm really looking forward to is this one. This is the Razer Kaijo and in a previous comparison I checked out the Kaijo Pro. It was amazing for the price and this here is the younger brother which is half the price. Really looking forward to testing this. Now the first webcam intrigued me a lot because it's a $6 webcam from AliExpress. You can already kind of see it by the branding because it's called webcam and on the front they say webcam again it's also hd full so very promising and the reason i bought this is that sometimes you can be surprised by aliexpress gadgets but i don't think that this will be one of those times so let's test the cheap aliexpress webcam i'm very curious i have no trust in this webcam by the way so i just added the webcam to obs but look at how zoomed it is i also tried changing the resolution but that's not a problem 1080p and it looks like this so i would have to be sitting like this far away from the webcam and i think even then it's almost too zoomed in it's not wide at all now i think for six bucks we can be happy already you see my mouth moving you see my facial expressions now the next webcam is a great budget option this is the emit c960 i've used this before the price is around 27 dollars and unlike the previous one this does have a decent image quality however i want to see it being compared to all the other ones if you're looking in this price category you're not gonna get a high quality webcam so in this case it is worth considering using your phone as a webcam i'm not gonna go into it again i've done it in previous videos i will link them in the description but even with older phones you can get a decent image quality and newer phones will beat pretty much all webcams so the e-meet has been a decent option in previous comparisons people see this as a very budget logitech brio the brio is about 130 150 dollars this costs around 27 if i remember correctly so if you can make this webcam look decent it's definitely gonna be worth considering all right so i added the c960 here in obs and even though it definitely looks pixelated if you look at specific parts of my face it doesn't look crappy the overall image looks decent especially for a 27 dollar webcam however there are bright spots on my face but the reason for that is probably these two soft boxes now this is a professional lighting setup so the webcam should be able to work with that we just decreased the light a bit more and it looks even better now and especially if you're gonna be using this webcam for gaming you can cut off the left side cut off the right side maybe even make it a bit bigger this is absolutely perfect for gaming content reaction content all that stuff so for 27 dollars i really think that this is a good option now the next webcam is one that i'm really excited for this feels like a really premium package it's the obsbot tiny 2 and it's a new webcam by obsbot now before unboxing this webcam you might remember a video i've done a while ago i checked out another auto tracking webcam in the past the insta 360 but this one is a year old however i was very impressed with the tracking features and the image quality of this webcam now the obsbot tiny two that we're checking out in this video is newly released it also has a bigger sensor and more ai features so i'm really curious to check it out really excited to test out how futuristic it is it does come in a nice case and here it is it's heavier than expected there's also protective film on the lens there we go and you can either screw it on a stand or use the stand it comes with which is magnetic this is the sturdiest stand i've ever felt this is not gonna drop off your monitor so this is an auto tracking webcam it can move left right down up it connects to your pc with a usb-c cable and there are five main features of this webcam that i'm gonna check out in this next rapid fire segment so this is the quality the first feature is the auto tracking which you already know but look at this it really smoothly tracks me and i can also change the tracking to close up and then when i move further away the webcam will zoom in to keep me in the frame as a close-up now the second feature is voice control i have a bunch of commands i can turn it off with my voice sleep tiny and it will just turn off position one and boom it will reframe now another thing you can do is control the device with your hands instead of your voice for example if you do this it will start and stop tracking you so now it stopped tracking me and if i do this again the webcam will blink and then it will track me again and the thing i find the coolest is if you do this you can zoom in with your hands you can zoom out and it goes really smooth look at this it's very responsive now if we take a look in the software by the way this image quality is so sharp the auto focusing is also great look at how sharp my eye is so what i wanted to show 
show you is there's a beauty tab and right here we can enable background blur we can choose different blur levels two works great so then the background is a bit blurred there's also preset filters for example this is the male filter look at my face and this is the female filter <laughs> i wouldn't really use this so i'm gonna go back back to reality now if you don't want to control the camera with your voice or your hands then you can always use the remote and you can see that with this remote i can control the software by zooming in zooming out i can also manually control the camera make it go up or down when i release it will auto track me so with the remote i could disable the tracking now it doesn't track me anymore and then i can freely move the camera now i'm gonna aim the webcam a bit down and then in the software you can go to desk mode and this will create a fake overhead mode that lets you unbox stuff and make it look like the camera is above your desk it's also really useful to show your mouse movements on stream or something let's go back to normal tracking in the image tab you can also enable hdr and this is very useful if there's a bright window behind you or bright lights because it will allow you to keep more details from the highlights for example you can also disable or enable the autofocus same with exposure there's anti-flicker and then here you can make some adjustments to how the image looks if you want more contrast and in the more tab you can disable specific things like the zooming the locking target i have to be honest here i am really loving this webcam it is a premium webcam but it does the job and it does it well now the next option is gonna be very interesting for some people so this is the sony a6000 and this is a real camera however you can get it on ebay for around 200 dollars 250 maybe and a camera like this is worth considering if you want to spend a bit more for a webcam now an extra barrier for people considering a real camera as a webcam is that you probably also need a capture card the elgato cam link is a very popular option however the price is around 99 dollars so that's an extra big barrier which is why i I also want to check out this capture card is from aliexpress you can probably also get it on amazon for a bit more and the price of this capture card was 12 dollars i tested it in a previous video a long time ago so i just connected the camera to the pc and i think you can immediately tell that this is nice quality and currently we are using the aliexpress capture card which was around 12 dollars so there might be some pixelation in the image you're seeing right now some of that will be because of the capture card we do also have an elgato cam link which is a premium 100 dollars capture card so i'm gonna change the capture cards because i want to compare the cheap one to this premium elgato capture card we can change the device in obs studio to cam link that's the name of the card and so this here is the quality of the elgato capture card i think looking at it right now looking at my eyes they are a bit more sharp so i'm gonna make a screenshot just like with the previous one because then we can compare them so let's look straight okay we have a screenshot okay now i'm looking at the difference currently this cheaper one does look better so the left image is from the elgato capture card the right one from the aliexpress one however if you look at the difference the elgato one is much more grayed out and maybe if you just boost the saturation a bit it would look better so i'm going to add a color correction filter and we're gonna boost the saturation a bit now this is too much i look sick okay so i did find a color correction that works so look at the left image when i turn it on the difference is definitely there they look very similar now in terms of color and what you can see is that the aliexpress one is a bit sharper but it looks like the artificial sharpening that you would add in photoshop for example and that if you overdo it looks too sharp so if you're going for a budget 1080p camera like this one that's around 200 dollars on ebay i really don't think it's worth spending a hundred dollars on a capture card if you can spend 12 dollars for an aliexpress one that's about the same quality by the way you can definitely find this on amazon as well currently the camera is attached to a monitor shelf mount i'm also using a dummy battery which which means that i never have to charge the camera the lens is the kit lens there's also a micro hdmi to hdmi cable that cable is connected to a capture card and then the capture card goes into the pc so i will list the cost of all of those items here on the right a camera like this as a webcam is definitely an investment but you can use this to make youtube videos you can use it to make shorts you can use it to stream everything will look crisp the camera also has great autofocus and depth of field if you get closer to the camera you can even zoom with it to create whatever you want and the the focus will still work the light had to adjust but now it looks good i will link all the products i'm using for this camera setup in the description together with all the other webcams now the next two webcams are each interesting in their own way so this webcam is also by obsbot however it doesn't have auto tracking features which means that there's no budget going to the auto tracking and that the webcam is more affordable at around 150 dollars it's a high quality premium 4k webcam and then this webcam here is what's going to be very interesting for a lot of people who are on a budget because 
because it's $49. And as I've mentioned before, it's the little brother of the Razer Kaijo Pro, which is a very respectable webcam. So I'm really looking forward to the unboxing experience to compare it with the previous Obsbot webcam. So far, nice box again. I really like the look of their packaging. All right, now what I really like about this so far is first of all, it also feels pretty heavy, but also the form factor and the shape of this webcam. It doesn't look like a traditional one. It more so looks like you're buying a premium production quality webcam. Also protective film on the front. Let's see if the stand is magnetic as well. And let's test. Yep, it is. Also comes with a USB-C cable. For those wondering, also a USB to USB-C adapter. And then the last thing in the box is a privacy filter. So you can just push this on the webcam and then you can open it and close it like that. Okay, so I just connected the Obsbot Meet 4K. It does have autofocus. As you can see, it will focus on my eyes. The webcam is also very wide, which I do like for streaming. And it does come with the Obsbot software. And something very interesting, since this webcam is 4K, you can enable auto framing. And what this will do is use all the pixels to zoom in on you and still make the image look decent. So if I keep going back, it will keep zooming in and now it will just auto frame me. So this is like an auto tracking webcam that we checked out before it's from the same company however it just has a bit less flexibility because the webcam can't really turn around the body it just has a wide view and then it just searches you and zooms in on you however this is very useful and it will make sure that wherever you're sitting you will always be in the frame you can also change a bunch of settings in the app itself we can increase the saturation a bit not too much of course you can increase the sharpness oh this definitely changes a lot now the price of the webcam is 150 dollars which definitely isn't cheap it's a premium webcam but it does look good good for the price. By the way, the quality of the webcam is 4K 30 FPS or 1080p 60 FPS. You can choose what's more important to you. And so overall, especially with this auto framing, I really like this webcam. And then lastly, the Razer Kaijo, the normal one. I'm not going to say too much about it because I've went over the features already. I just want to test this out and compare it to all the other ones. Okay, so I've just been playing around with the settings of this Razer Kaijo because there was overexposure here again. Sometimes you can see it, but overall it's fine. If you ever experience the same thing you can double click the video capture device you can go to configure video which will bring up these settings and then there's camera control here and these are settings that your camera is controlling itself and the exposure will probably be set to automatic and that's usually the problem as you can see it can't really expose for bright spots but you can turn off the auto exposure and it was set to this for me but then when i moved it all the way to the left it suddenly looked good same thing by the way for focus you could turn it off but the autofocus is good and I mean, this webcam looks amazing. Look how crisp this is. It's the same thing as with the Razer Kaijo Pro. These webcams are great value. And this one here is 1080p 30 FPS. The Kaijo Pro is 60 FPS. However, I don't really think it's that important. Some people make a big deal out of it that when you're streaming a 60 FPS game that your webcam in the corner should also be 60 FPS or otherwise it looks out of sync. But I mean, look at this one. It's small, amazing. Even when it's big, this is a great webcam. So I will show all of the webcams webcams one by one right now and you should make the decision for yourself because there's a lot of different features on different webcams if you want auto tracking auto framing then one of the two obsbot webcams are great the quality of them is amazing they are high resolution so even if they zoom in you're still crisp but when you're looking for a budget webcam that's below 100 dollars even below 80 dollars then i don't think there's a better option than this razer kaijo because this looks crisp the autofocus works it works quickly it's focused on my hand now and quickly on my face boom perfectly on my eyes this is an amazing webcam for the price all of the products will be linked in the description thank you so much for watching and i hope that i will see you in one of my future videos have a nice day